Hello and cool ass good night to everybody. Welcome to the Real Thing Talk Show. Tonight's topic will be, should you voice your opinion or should you restrain yourself if it offends others? I am Grandpa James. And I'm Ian Ross. What kind of fuck with topic this? By hush your mother country. Certain things have to be addressed, right? You understand? This is America and it's freedom of speech. So right now I want to know if you should curb your fucking opinion or should you hush your cunt? You just answer your own question. Freedom of bomb clad speech. Move on. Let me ask you something. If you don't have no opinion, how the blood clad Obama going to the White House? No, our opinion. Him say what he wants to say. Or we for say, boy, if him bad or if him good. No. So the blood clad you talk about. I never say you mustn't have an opinion. It was a question. Me personally, I think that the views of different people and their opinions generate constructive debates. Now, that's only if you're dealing with somebody of intelligence. If you're dealing with ignorance, ignorance does feed ignorance. Now, why the fuck you have on glasses and you? What? I'm all with me by them blood clad dark as you're from. Two for five pound flat bush. Or the blood clad you're paying me for. Boy, hold your cunt with your fucking cheap ass glasses. This is an expensive thing here, boy. Anyway, they have an old saying stand for something or fall for anything. All my years on this earth, one thing I learned is that everybody do not have the same upbringing. Morally, people are different. You have people that something might bother one person and it don't bother the next person. But that don't mean you must hush your mouth. You must speak up on your thing. I don't have a problem with gay people. Now, if that's your preference, you want to be with the same sex, that is your problem. But me personally, I just abuse cunt. Now, does that make me homophobic because I am not into your thing? No. What? Yo, let me tell you this. Me not business with you. Me not give a fuck about the show. Yo, let me tell you this. No shit pusher. That me I say. No pillar biter. How the blood clad do you? But you going off or what? How you getting on so? Rasta. A pussy me say I me never born as a rasta. You understand? Me never come out and know the truth. I know say me a rasta. Some man say them born as gay. How that? When you in your mother belly, what you gotta do? Play with the body? Big man, that is your opinion and I'm not going to chastise you for your opinion. You see, when you're dealing with life, you have to understand that you are not the only person in this world. You have different personalities that you will deal with on the bus, on the train, at work, all kind of thing. All those people have different opinions. He have an opinion and I can't vex with he for that. You understand? Just because you feel like that don't mean that Batman fi die and all kind of stupid thing all you like to talk. Because if I if I not mistaken, Jamaica all you had all you had a fucking gay prime, prime minister, you know, P. J. Patterson. Okay, gays don't trouble people except for the ones in Atlanta. So yeah, we got P. J. for you know, so we run that out of Jamaica. <laughs> all you ever run out she body though, or she whatever the fuck that one name. As a matter of fact, all you love she. You know what? You see her mother. Mm -hmm. Suck till she buck. I left that place, yeah. You see what I'm trying to tell you? Everybody have an opinion. You understand? And you can't just disregard everybody else's opinion because you think you have strong, valuable points in your opinion and that is it. It don't work so. Pass me my bomb cloud two for five glasses. All your content get yourself. Anyway, that wraps it up for me. Respect others' opinions and stand for what you know as well. This is the Real Thing Talk Show, Grandpa James and the Rats. Don't forget the party bus will be the 25th, taking you to Mad Sick 11.